So we're out cellar hole hunting today, and we're on a spot, but I don't think it's that old. Look, I just found this weird thing. And you guys know what that is? It almost like a piece of a toy or something. Well, here's my first relic -y thing. It's like an overall button. Here's an old sign. I wonder if that was going to say Pepsi. Kind of what it looks like, huh? Okay, so the first spot we were at was kind of a bust. Uh, there was like a few mason jar lids found. But look at that. What is that thing? Anyways, I think we've identified a cellar hole and uh, kind of metal detection my way over there is still uh, a couple blocks away. But uh, just seeing if I can pick up anything on my way over there. Okay, button. Doesn't look too awfully old, but hey, we're getting stuff. All right, not far from that one, there's button number two. Some sort of snap button, I think. Oh, I got a spoon. Look at that. <laughs> it's got some fancy flower stuff on there. So it says Sterling Triple. That's probably the company because I do not think this is actually Sterling. It might have been uh, plated. But I think what they did in the day is they would name their companies. I've seen this on a bunch of other things with the word Sterling in it to kind of trick people. Definitely doing good on the buttons today. Well, there's a ball lid or a mason jar lid. So... There's, I just got this big double headed axe. But it's because there's a post right here, you know, and you always want to dig next to weird markers because it could be where they hid their stuff. But look how deep that was. Big old axe head. Kid's got a coin. What's it going to be? Oh, it's a weedy. Here we go. 1919. S. Awesome. Let's keep going. You know, I think I might have found a bracelet. I don't know if you can see, but this has got a design all over in it. I don't think it's like precious or anything. Yeah, I think that's a piece of jewelry. Wow. Something you're not going to find at a homestead too often. Yeah. All right, Danny got this buckled down there. Take a little lunch break and hit it harder. Got a 26 right here. Just banging. I hope it's a coin. And that'd be cool. Do a live dig. Now well, something around. Oh. Is that just a really fancy cap? <laughs> Look at that. That is a cool cap. Wow. Yeah, so I cleaned it up a little bit. It's got like a mesh. Like maybe they used it for like a salt shaker or something. A little mini one. That's really cool. Wow, I just got another penny. What is up? Let's see how old this one is. Well, this one says 30 something. 38. Cool, let's keep going. Oh man, this is such a cool token I have here. It's aluminum. Five cent trade, but look at what good shape it's in. W.S. Swilston. Oh, so cool. All right, Danny's got a button. Let's see what we got here. Here's Levi's. 
Nice. Check this out. I got a lock. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Door still swings on it even. Not weird. Everything's in such good condition right I here. Know. It's dry up here. <laughs> I think that's why. <laughs> well, looks like I'm onto a watch part now. Uh, Danny had one a minute ago. Look at this. I found a massive alligator clip, hair clip. How crazy is that? That's just stuff you don't usually find at sites like this. This is fun. What do you think? 22 under a turd? Is it worth it? <laughs> See what we got. Of course it's worth it. It's not even a question. Oh, some sort of... Oh, you know what? I think that might be more hair stuff. Yeah, that's like the top part to some sort of a hair clasp, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a lipstick case. I'll just give it on a limb and say, there's women living here. There's... So, you got a weedy. It's kind of new to metal detecting. How many weedies is this for you now? Number four. Number four. Look, that's a number four number weedy. Four weedy. Man. <laughs> Can't believe this. I got another weedy. It's crazy. You never have. I know they're just weedies, but. So, this is 1930. Uh. Danny just got a 28. I got a 19. I don't remember what the other one was. But... So it looks like the range of the site's probably somewhere between the 20s and 40s. But awesome. Maybe we'll get some Silva. I just cannot believe the weird sh stuff coming out of here. Look at that. It's the world's biggest diaper clip. <laughs> Man, I've been needing one of these. Now I'll finally be able to clip her up right. This thing even has a date on it. See what the date says. The patent is 1878. Button. Looks like some sort of overall button. Man, I see something green. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's cool, but I thought I was maybe going to be a skeleton key for a second. Crazy. Heartbreaker. Oh, man, another weedy. There's got to be some silver here. There's a lot of money spilled. This is a 45. I don't know. You guys sick of seeing buttons yet? There's another one. Give you a sneak peek, a little bit about where we're digging. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but man, there's a lot of good stuff here. Well, it's not complete until somebody gets a harmonica read. I was just saying, it's weird we haven't got one yet. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but that's cool. It's cool. I think it's off the stove. I think I have a ring. Oh, dude, I do. In fact, I think I have a silver ring. Oh, man. That is so cool to get something like that from this side. That thing is chewed up, man. I think it looks like it's been in a fight. <laughs> Boom, what a day. Tokens, relics, boom. Okay, so here's the deal. My wife grew up with no power, no running water, outhouses. So she's gonna help with the ID on some of these because uh, unlike her, I was a rich kid. We had running water. <laughs> 
Okay. And a paved road. <laughs> All right. This giant pen, I believe, is a brooch pen. You put your charms on it. It's got a little fancy to it. This seems to be made of copper. Looks a lot like those stoppers that with a cork on it for a wine bottle, but it's too small. Maybe perfume, maybe cooking oil. Tell us what you think. This one's probably my favorite. I think this is a hot roller. Back in the day when you used to heat them up, put them in your hair, clip them down, make a curl. Still moves. What a heartbreaker. This one turned out to be copper. But I was pretty hungry. I was getting <laughs> a little weak in the head. But look, this is the crudest ring in my entire collection. This chick was definitely in love. Because that is not a well-made ring. <laughs>